good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to all of our beloveds out there. You all have seen a shift in our another as well as a shift in the universe and the cosmos. The shift is real. We are moving you through the last aspects of the eye of the needle in order to prepare for 2022. And it is raw. It is painful. It is excruciatingly emotional at times. But on the flip side, some of the highs that you are feeling now, the joys, the expressions of happiness, of contentment, of bliss, is also there. This is the contrast within which you all find yourselves right now and within which many of you are finding difficulties moving through. It is not your journey to always be happy and content. And it is also not your journey to always be dismissed, uh, dismembered, and left abandoned by the roadside. It is a balance between the two, meaning that you will continue to experience contrast until your day of transition. However, it is your perspective on life which determines your level of suffering. You are oftentimes stuck in those negative emotions which keep you blinded to the other experiences that are available to you right now. But you choose to see the limitations within which you find yourselves rather than the expressions of opportunity that abound once you pop through this window, through this eye of the needle. And we just invite you all to experience more of the optimistic perspectives. We are in no way asking you to minimize where you find yourselves, nor the challenges that present themselves to you. It is not that we wish to say, pretend that they are not there. What we ask you to do is to dream a different solution into place. If you are finding lack of motion or movement in where you desire to go, maybe it is because your soul does not desire to go there and will simply not allow any movement. And that then creates frustration on your part, resentment that it is not moving forward, and a feeling that life is not honoring your wishes. But maybe at this time in 2021, we are honoring your internal desires and are limiting your real options in order to force you to consider new ones because maybe the ones that you have chosen are not the correct ones. And we have heard, dissected, replaced, and honored what it is that you really want. When you ask us for joy and happiness, but then ask us to bring you a particular solution that we know will not bring you joy or happiness, well, then maybe it is better that your request not be honored and that instead you sit there in a holding pattern until you come up with a different request or solution. The happiness, the joy, the bliss, the ease, the flow is there just waiting for you to say, okay, universe, this is what I want it to feel like. You bring it about. 
we are moving from the form of patriarchy, which is where you try to control everything around you with your solutions, and we are moving into times of the divine feminine, where we or your soul are offering the solutions that are perfect for you to continue on this expansionary phase called your life. But we will no longer offer those solutions that we know will not support your journey. So instead, we will keep you sitting where you are at until you surrender more to our process. This is the divine feminine, meaning allowing the intuitive knowing to guide you versus the intellect as to where you desire to go. It is a very simple process, and it is one that many of you are resisting uh, with great uh, fortitude because you don't like this new way of being. And it is okay we will just keep you in your holding pattern until you surrender to your soul's wishes instead of your left brain constructionist solutions. It is simply a retraining, a reprogramming, a relearning of how you live life. It is no longer the old fear-based paradigm but instead is now a new love-based paradigm. And as more of you come online, more of you will fill the ether with this construct and more of you can then download it because the energy will get that much more powerful and energized in the collective consciousness. As you are all one, you are all deeply interconnected through cords and cables and strings and ties and whatever you wish to call them. And as more of you become love, it will feed the rest of you who are struggling with moving into this trusting way of knowing that the universe has your back and your front and your underside and your top and your left and your right. You will see how this is a new loving energy and it will provide a safety net for you in a way that you have never felt. But it will need to be built upon your collective wishes, your collective desires, your collective dreams, and your collective manifestation. Manifestation is putting it into form into the 3D, if you will, though we now are moving into the 5D for many of you. See it, feel it, and believe it. It is there, it is there, it is there. If you simply say, I surrender for my highest good. And so it is. Namaste.